When our pets become part of the family, keeping up with medical costs and food for them is a priority. With the holidays coming up, making ends meet may be difficult for some families. News Channel 9's Farah Jadrin shows us how one group is giving struggling families some hope. Sharpe Pit Mix Kia holds a special place in the Washington family's hearts. When I uh, received Kia uh, one afternoon after school, I was eight years old, it, it kind of brightened my, my world. And not only my world, but my family's world as well. When Kia was 16, cancer took over. Vet costs piled up. The family making the difficult decision to put Kia down. Something Samuel Washington hopes no other family ever has to do simply because of money. Like everyone, our pets are extensions of our families. You know, you look at them as, as a child, as a, another child, as another member of the family. And um, for a lot of people, you know, they're companion, companion animals. In her memory, the Kia Foundation, Inc. was born in 2011, helping low-income Syracuse families and the homeless pay for vet care and unexpected procedures. Yeah, Monthly giveaways yeah, provide yeah. pet food Same and supplies for dogs oh, and cats. Yeah. We have success stories from our giveaways monthly um, where we have people tell us, listen, I mean, I didn't have money for food this week. As a fellow animal lover, fiance and foundation director Kate Berry says meeting families in need make the efforts worthwhile. I grew up with a single mother and there were times that, you know, bills were tough and you had to prioritize. For people living paycheck to paycheck, the Kia Foundation Inc. hopes to bridge the gap for Syracuse City animal lovers in need. Through animal awareness, we teach compassion, we teach humanity, and we teach the importance of caring for others and other living things on this earth. Farah Jadrin, News Channel 9. And those companions truly are part of the family. The Kia Foundation collecting donations of pet food treats and bowls from noon to 3 p.m. this Saturday at the Westcott Community Center. We'll be right back with more right here on News Channel 9. Stay with us.